Hello, this is Chris with PixelFreak.com, and today we're going to take a first look at Bean's Quest. Now, this game is uh, probably a kind of an undiscovered, uh, you know, gem out there in the Google Play Store. From what I can tell, this game's been out now for a while on iOS, and people were really looking forward to it, but on the Google Play Store, even though it's got a bunch of five-star reviews it only has about 100 to 500 downloads, so it hasn't been really popular yet. It is a paid app, uh, and I hear it's a platformer. So let's go ahead and launch it, and let's see what we're in for. Kumobius, music by Flashy Goodness. Okay, let's see what the uh, settings here look like. Watch intro, let's watch the intro. Oh, I bet you the intro's on the game too, duh. Okay, so let's check this out here. Play. Oh, it's looking very, uh, very Mario-like. Ready, steady, bean. Oh, what? I'm a jumping bean. That is awesome. And there's gems. So I push left to go left and right to go right. It's funny, the, the sound effects sound a lot like old, like, 8-bit. This actually is very, very 8-bit, like, the old 8-bit platformers just bounce on him. Oh, yeah. Boy, I liked how he exploded. That was kind of cool. I'm gonna assume the spikes hurt me. And I can jump on that. Oh yeah. Oh, that's cool. Okay. All right, little crab octopus things. Double jump, that's right. <laughs> Thanks a lot, LOL. I think that's what that said. So the controls are pretty cool. I mean, I guess it's just left and right, so not a lot to really mess up there. Oh, it says A X O L Exotl. Exolotl. Whatever. I love it. it even kind of sound it just sounds so 8-bitty. It's very it's a very nostalgic game. This is very nostalgic. And yet, I'd have to say, this game is, it's not boring at all. Like, I don't feel bored playing this. And I think this app, man, what did I pay for this? Maybe, maybe $2.99. If I paid $2.99 for this, I'm not convinced that it was a good price yet. However, in a world where we pay 99 cents for Doodle Jump, then I think this is a 99 cent app. Wow, that guy, he's gotta die. Yes, I got him. Okay, how do I get up there? There we go. Now it's, it's feeling a lot like Ice Climbers there for a second. Okay, let's just go to the goal. I really don't care about that. This kind of feels like, as much as it's kind of like a, it's a progression, you know, I'm kind of making my way. But at the same time, whoa, awesome. It kind of feels a little bit like it's in that category of time waster, you know? Oh, that sucks for, whoa, that almost sucked for me really bad. I mean, if you're, whoop, oh, man, that was almost big time suckage. If you're looking for a game that's a little more in-depth than this, and about the same price, Gunman Clive, way better. However, this is fun, and the, both of those games kind of, they kind of fit into the nostalgic area. I'll definitely, I'll definitely be going through a bunch of this game, and I'm going to do a review on this one. This one's, this one's low-hanging fruit for, for a review. You know, it's always so much easier with the game you're, games you're reviewing are fun to play. There is not much worse in the world than reviewing a game that totally sucks. Because guess what? You still gotta play the game. Ooh. Oh yeah, made it. 
You know, you know what else I liked too that was a free game was Cheese Man. Cheese Man was kind of the same way where it was kind of a platform game. Maybe we're seeing a resurgence in platformers on, on smartphones. I mean, I've seen, I've seen a few, but re recently there's just been a ton of really good ones. I would classify this as one of the good ones. And Cheese Man was good, even though there's some technical issues with Cheese Man. Cheese Man was was still good. And Gunman Clive, well, that just that blew my socks off. And that's death. Well, we've seen it. Beans explode. Now we know. So the graphics in this, I think they're a little a little mixed up. I think that they... Oh, dead bean. I think the graphics kind of need to decide if they want to be retro or if they want to be newer. Because right now they're kind of mixed. And personally, I'm, I'm not really feeling the... the mixed graphics oh crap but I definitely I definitely enjoy the gameplay it's a fun game it's getting difficult too take that bird go bean go bean uh oh uh oh uh oh that was almost no bueno oh that was no bueno no bueno Take this! Oh, he's trying to get his buddy too. Come here, woo! Gotcha. Got it. All right, let's do one more. One more, and we'll wrap it up. So this is a pretty fun game. It's a platformer, and uh, yeah. I think it was $2.99. I really think it was $2.99 that I paid for this. Which to me, it's like, it's a fun game. And uh, I don't want to say anything negative about it, really, because I haven't done a full review on it yet. So there might be something awesome in here that I'm just missing. Okay, seriously, what did I do wrong here? Did I bump the ball wrong the wrong way and there's no way to fix it? Yeah, I got it. Man, that was rough. Whoa, now, whoa, now. Hey, got it. Yeah, so I don't want to be—I don't want to be too negative about it right now. My initial impression, my first look impression, let's call it that. My first look impression of this game is that $2.99 was a little steep of a price. That's my initial impression. So, oh come on! No, no, no! Mexican exploding bean. Haha, take that. I'll blow up right next to you. There we go. We got the ball rolling. Oh, no. Now it's going the wrong way. No, Bean, no. Don't do it, Bean. All right, we got it. We got it. All right. Now it's really rolling. No. Oh, I wanted the little kitty thing. Come on, ball. And I'm explode a bean. Damn it, now I gotta... Okay, good. I thought I had to start back way at that beginning spot, and that would suck. And I'm... Oh, ho, ho. Dang it, don't die, bean, don't die. Stop the ball, bean, stop the ball. Man, that thing stuck. Oh, crap. Man, I suck again. Boing. And goal. Am I getting rated for these levels? Oh, I see. Diamonds, jumps, par is 26. So, okay, so it measures you in how many jumps you do, how many diamonds you get. So that's kind of cool. That's very smartphone game e, where it kind of gives you a measurement of how well you did for that level and, and lets you go back and do some more. So, good game. My first look impression is uh, it's fun. If you think you would like it and it's worth your 2 dollars 
go for it. Me, uh, my first impression is, is that it might not have been worth $2.99. $1.99, I can see it. $1.99 makes more sense. $0.99 cents, it, would be a, it would be a steal. Uh, I'm really happy that it's not an ad-supported game, because I'm not a real big fan of the ad-supported games. I like to give developers my money directly. Anyways, uh, make sure to like our videos and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Check out our website at pixel-freak.com. And until next time, this has been Chris with pixelfreak.com.